Hi, I'm Chip Wade. I'm here to show you how to install Mohawk Uniclick laminate in your home. The first thing you want to do before installing any floor is read the instructions. There's a lot of important information and some helpful tips that will make installing your new floor a breeze. In some cases, you may need to bring your flooring into the room 48 hours in advance so it can acclimate to the space. Just check your instructions. You can install your laminate over either a concrete or wooden subfloor. I have a plywood subfloor for this installation. Whichever type you have, just be sure your subfloor is clean and free of any debris, nails, staples, or anything else that will interfere with the installation. Now all you need to do is determine the layout of your floor, and you're ready to move up to the next step, underlayment. Once you've decided which direction your laminate will run, you're ready to put down your underlayment. For this room, I've chosen to run the flooring in this direction. I want to lay my underlayment perpendicular to that to ensure the best results. I'm using an underlayment with a built-in moisture barrier. If yours doesn't have a moisture barrier, you'll need to install one first. If you're installing your underlayment on a wood subfloor, cut it about an inch from the wall. If you have a concrete subfloor, let it run up the wall slightly before cutting it to size. Make sure it goes down smoothly to avoid any unevenness. Once you have a couple of pieces down, you can start laying your flooring. Now we're ready to install our laminate. I've already installed the first three rows. At this point, you want to go ahead and use the spacers to ensure a consistent expansion gap on the edge of the floor. Now, just continue installing the planks. What's great about this product is the patented Uniclick glueless locking system. The planks simply snap into place, making installation quick and easy. Here's a helpful tip. Always work out of multiple boxes to make sure that you don't have too many identical planks side by side. You want a nice random look with a variation in colors and shades. Use flooring links that stagger the end joints for a more professional look. Once you get a few rows in place, use your tapping block and a rubber mallet to gently bring all the joints together, making the surface nice and smooth. This Mohawk flooring clicks together so quick and easy and looks fantastic. With just a little bit more time and effort, I'll have a room that I'll be proud of.